Hey guys, Jimmy from Ziggy's Lawn and Landscape today. We have an exciting video for, for you guys today. We are not going to be doing any landscaping work today. We're actually going to buy four trucks that we won on an auction and a few other uh, miscellaneous things. We got a, how many shovels? 20 shovels or something? A lot of shovels. Yeah, a lot of shovels for I like five it. bucks. Um, we got a service truck cap for a dollar. Uh, we got all four trucks for i forget the price on each one but we'll show you guys when we get there they're very cheap we got two seven threes one uh triton it was a v8 triton and one gmc uh, gmc sierra what year was that 2007 Seven. uh -huh. uh all just bid over the computer hopefully they're they look pretty good they all three of them have snow plows all the fords do uh so can't really go wrong with that for what we paid for them but we'll show you guys uh kind of what's what the deal is when we get there we have yeah, well, we got the the F350 dually. First time we're gonna be towing the big trailer. And, and then we got what's the, what's this guy's name? Howdy, what's, folks. What's his name? Papa Zig. Papa Zig. Yeah. Papa Zig. Hi, on Papa house. Zig. So he's gonna be joining us today, and uh, we're gonna take a trip out all in the truck, and we're gonna try to get all these back. We have a window from nine to four today to make four four vehicles come home. Uh -huh. So it's going to be tough, but we're going to do our best. All right, let's get going. Just want you to go oh, there's that truck, Steve, that was in half. Yeah, we bid a dollar on that one. Did you get it? No. no they probably sold for like 20 bucks though. Oh, the, oh yeah, the all three of them are right there, I think. There's the dump truck. That dump truck sold for 5500 Why didn't you get it? Because you need the CDL for There's the, oh, the, that red one problem. right there. There's our red one. They're all, all of them are in a line, I think. So here's more of our setup here with the sure track open trailer, equipment trailer, deck over. The plan is going to be to try to get one truck on here and drive two of them home since we got three of us. One person's going to tow the, we got four trucks, so one's really crappy. Uh, two of them are pretty good, and then there's another one that's kind of unknown shape. We're going to try to drive two of them home and tow two of them home. So we only have to make two trips out. We're in Clifton, New Jersey right now. This is about 45 minutes away from us. So it'd be a pain in the butt to really have to make four separate trips if we could do it in two. So that's going to be the goal. So this is the Triton, right? Do you need that piece of paper or something? I don't know. I mean, Here's the one truck. Triton. Utility bed. We'll show you guys more as we get home. Snow plow in the bed. Ultra mount. This one's in, this is probably the, by far the nicest truck. So this is number one. Number two is this Mason dump. Looks like a newer body on it. This is a 7.3. Uh, also has a plow. I don't know where it is. Um, here's truck number three. This is beat up. This is a 7.3 too. But, this yeah. thing looks good, Jim. It's a new hitch. Yeah, this one, I forget what year this is, but this one, I think has 289,000. This is the 7.3, it's just beat up. So that big loader over there, that wheel loader, we were bidding on that too, and I think it got up to, I think it sold for 3,700 bucks. We were bidding on it, and we were in a bidding war, and kind of just let it go because we got all this other stuff. But we were bidding on a few different things here. We just, there's only so much you can bid on. But we're just waiting for these guys to get to us to help us get loaded up. All right, so where we left off was what? We were at the, the place picking them up? Yeah. Just looking around them before we loaded them. Yeah. Uh, all right. We will. Sh this is what we got. We scored pretty big on these things on online on an auction. Uh, you can see the smile on my face. We're. I'm very excited. I know Jim is too. Yeah. Uh, we got the rig over there that towed them home. That was the white truck that we painted black and redid all of it. Towed home uh, the GMC and that 73 right there of Ford with the plow in the back. Uh, and then you guys drove these two home because they're in very good shape. Um, and that was about 30 minute ride, 35 minute ride each way. So it saved us two trips by being able to drive those two. But uh, that truck is a beast. 
Everything we did to it is not leaking a drop of oil, fuel, coolant, nothing. Turn the key, start it up, and hook the trailer up and pull these things home. That's what we, or we bought it, we use it for business pretty much every day now. Uh, but that's not the point of the video. The point is what we scored on here. Uh, we'll start here, I guess? Yeah, we'll start. Yeah, we'll start right here. This is a 2001 Ford F-350 Mason dump. It's four-wheel drive. It has an eight and a half foot Western Unimount plow. Um, this one has a hundred and, does it say it on the window still? 134,000 miles, I think it's somewhere. Yeah, uh, just. Yeah, 134,000 miles on it. So this thing doesn't have 450,000 like the gold truck. Some of it's plow miles, obviously. Uh, and some of it, I mean, it's not horrible. It's, if it was a plow truck its entire life, the doors would be missing up to here. This cab corner is solid. The other cab corner on the other side is a little bit gone, but this side's solid. I mean, the doors have a little bit of surface rust, but for being a plow truck, it's not bad. They definitely painted the dump body, but the dump body's solid. Um, no holes, no nothing. I feel like we're turning this into a, a speech on uh, like power stroke help, like trying to sell these trucks. What we got for sale this month, but it's not. It's just what we picked up. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do some things to them and yeah. send them down the road. Honestly, the seat looks pretty good. Yeah, usually the seat... R 450 had two seats put in it in its lifetime, just from in and out of the truck a million times, ripped out. They probably swapped it. Yeah, probably. Because the brake pedal is missing its the, yeah. the foam or whatever. Um, but it's a four-wheel drive F350 dually, dump truck. Uh, want to show yeah, up and down? I'll show. Let me show the plow too before you go up. I mean, this is nothing, the plow for the other truck. Like crazy. It's not a V plow, but no. This is the eight foot for the truck yeah. down. And then the truck for this one's the plow for this one's in the other truck. Oh, all right. It's switched. This is an eight footer. The eight and a half is down there. Okay. But it, they're identical except for six inches wider. Yeah. Uh, older style Unimount, but very very basic, and they work fine. Uh, as you can see, they didn't. Doesn't really seem like they had high sides on it. It was a paving company, so they probably used this to deliver the stone. Maybe. I don't know. Decent tires. Not the worst. Not the best. The frame spins. Uh, over sprayed like coated um, Fuel tank. Yeah, it's got a brand new fuel tank, which those are expensive because our 550 we put a plastic one and it was a four to five hundred bucks. I think yeah uh, This is a power up and power down dump body Which is nice because you don't like the gravity down ones tend to get stuck in the I'll Just go up a little bit and show them on the Yeah I'll go up a little bit higher just to see the fuel tank. Oh yeah. The plows in the back, so I don't want it too high. It's got new shocks on it too. Yeah, new shocks. There goes the plow. Wow, that is a new fuel tank. Whew. Hmm. That's expensive to replace that. I know for a fact. It's the floor. I mean, a eh, little bit, a little bit of surface rust. Nothing crazy. Yeah. The floor's solid yeah. from the inside. This looks good here. Those all look good. Just a little bit here starting. But uh the yeah. frame looks good. They frame did a good really job. Good. The muffler system, the whole exhaust is in good shape, no holes, nothing. And uh brand new shocks on it. Yep. Uh toolbox on the other side. Yeah. Um but it's powered down also, like we said. Look, this is in the cab is in decent shape on this side. Yeah. Uh, power down. A, uh, a retirement auction so the guy was going out of business or he was retiring and just the auction company took over and was just selling everything i think there was over 400 items yeah there was 100 items per page and there was four pages full um decent tires i mean you guys know where this one's headed we love our seven threes and i've been looking for a mason dump for a while uh i want to keep this one but we don't need it <laughs> yeah. uh it's just going to be a flip it's gonna be tough to flip it but We'll make we'll make some good money uh this is just aside from the fact we hit on these two 22 and a half inch tractor trailer wheels yeah uh we bought them for 20 bucks we threw down a 20 dollar bid and 
Yeah. And if we it's can't sold. sell them, I'll use I. They'll, it'll be a good spare for my truck because I have the twenty two fives yeah. on my truck. They so. have to be worth more than twenty bucks. Yeah. They're in good shape. I mean, the the treads there, they're not retreaded. Um, show them the engine. We'll start it up. Yeah. I mean, this one the, the, the mirror is cracked. Yeah. Um, they have a spare mirror in the shed. Uh, it's got new wiper blades. Surprisingly, the four wheel drive knobs turn. Usually yeah. they're stuck and they're rough, like yeah. rusted out and whatnot. Uh, if we were keeping this, we would do the whole nine yards like we did to that truck and the truck over there. Yeah. Um, possible maybe leak from the top of the valley. Nothing crazy. It's got a slight drip off the back of the oil pan. But uh, it starts right up and it drove fine. It drove fine all the way here. It shifted through all the gears good. Um, nice headlights. Uh, start it up. Yeah, let's see it. Yeah, so yeah. there's the first one. 134,000 miles, that's not crazy. 23 years old. Uh, real quick, they had jumper packs on this to start this this morning, the batteries were dead. Look at this mess. Yeah. What in the heck is going on from here? This is the main battery that goes down to the starter and is grounded down to the block of the engine. And then that side, the, the positive runs over to this battery Yeah. and is grounded to the engine. Look at my good look, it's tapped on to the end of this, the original. Yeah, that looks look at terrible. That. It's about to break off. Yeah, that's why. All you have to do is buy a new terminal and just put all these on top of one of them and you're good to go. But uh, it starts up and it works fine. Literally, this thing, if we needed it tomorrow, it would work. Which yeah. We don't, we're not using it or keeping it, but uh, it's got the hookup. Sound like Bill Hewitt. If you yeah. guys interested, give us a call. Yeah. But uh, no, it won't be for sale for probably a couple weeks. We're gonna give it a good once over along with all these while we're still working, of course. Now this is a very rare sight here at the Zignorski residence. A GMC. Yeah. Uh, there's a Ford, there's a Ford, there's a Ford, there's a Ford, there's a Ford. Two dump trucks that aren't here. There's another gold truck over there. That's a Ford. Yeah. My wife's Toyota. But other than that, this is we never see these around here. Uh not because we don't like them, it's just Fords always fall into our laps for good deals and we fix them up and use them for work. But uh, this is a 2007, it's a GMC Sierra 2500. Uh, it only has 93,000 miles, which is crazy. This truck did not come with the cap. The cap was purchased separately. Um, Although it basically did come with the cap. Well, it's not for this truck. But yeah, yeah, we, I, but I mean, the, the cap was a dollar. The cap went for a dollar on the bid because nobody wanted it, but we... For shipping purposes because this one got towed home along with that one uh we just put had they put the the cap on the back with the loader um so it's a 2007 it's a lot it's one of the newer vehicles that we've ever purchased here for a flip okay this one also has a plow hookup uh you guys want to throw down in the comments what you guys think this is oh it's a it's buyer's a buyer. plow i was gonna say i didn't know what uh it's got the brackets down here but it doesn't have a cross member yeah it didn't i guess come they with the plow it either. it's got another plug in here Oh yeah. So it's a buyer's plow. So it's got the hookup and everything and probably just needs another piece for the mount. Um, put these together so they don't. Okay, anyway, I mean, yeah, it's wired for, I didn't, we didn't know that. It wasn't listed as having a plow. These three came with the blades. This one doesn't. Um, well, the deal on this one. It's four-wheel drive, of course, regular cab. It's in decent shape. It's got a dent in the door. This bet this looks really ugly on top of it, but uh I mean the frame is solid. It's clean. Yeah. This isn't all rotted out. It's a work truck. Dent here. Uh would this open you think? I think the pressure of that. That's fine. Yeah. 
the pressure of the box is, is yeah. pushing the tailgate. So we, we have the box strapped inside and we also had straps over it on the trailer. But uh, this side's got a little bit more some body work. We're not doing it, of course, but I mean, touch it up with white paint, white paint, white paint, and white paint. It's almost like they were plowing, they hit something. Uh, tires are halfway decent. Yeah. Um, interior is decent. It's okay. It's a work truck. Yeah, that's the glass out of this box, the utility bed. Yeah. Let's pop the hood. Yes. So this truck, as it sits right now, has an exhaust leak. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit of that exhaust hiss. Yeah, this doesn't look anything like a 7.3. No. You can see the ground. I don't really look at Chevys that, this I've, other than dad's truck, I haven't really looked at any yeah. of these. It's got two batteries. Oh, wow. That one's huge. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's a Vortec. I think these are 5.3 or also a 6.0 Vortec. Yeah. I'm going to say this is a 6.0 for some reason. I don't know. Uh, Dad's is a 5.3. Oh, wow. It has a hydro boost, actually. It's like a Ford. Yeah. They probably all have it, right? Well, most casters have vacuum operated brakes. Uh, all right. But uh, besides the fact, what you said you saw broken bolts at the back maybe yeah i think the exhaust manifold has a broken bolt in the back or missing uh, you bolt. can see where the yeah, back cylinder you can see it. it's missing so it's making a hissing noise it's a yeah. little bit louder than it should be the check engine light is on um, yeah but ninety three thousand miles and we don't really want to say the price we paid because we got a pretty good deal uh we'll start it up yeah this one runs and drives completely fine it just has a exhaust knock or tick or whatever you want to call it yeah So yeah, that's the deal with that one. Now this one is, it's got the plow wires, it's just missing the controller. But uh... That's probably, number two. It probably runs and drives fine other than the exhaust leak. Yeah. 2007. Okay, this one's a little bit beat up. When we mean a little bit beat up, it's pretty beat up. The frame is in good shape, but the cab is rotted. The bed is completely rotted. Um, it's got decent wheels on it, and it also has the plow, which is like we said, it came out of the Mason Duck bed. But uh, it starts, it drives, and it stops. Uh, I guess it would be the perfect lot truck, or almost just basically going back and forth and hitting snow piles, which is probably what they used it for. This has 280, uh, 249. It says it up there. I think it's different. Yeah, no, 250. 250. It hit 250. I guess driving it around the yard or whatever. An extended cab four-wheel drive but it's a 7.3 diesel they also got this for a very good deal um, starts right up I think it's straight pipe it's a little bit louder than the rest of the stock ones yeah let's see you see some dings and dents they probably the hit, it, hit something with the plow they got salt salt's been eating it away but look at the frame I mean there's there's the factory little coating, coating right here the differential's in good shape, the tires are in good shape, but the bed shot. The bed shot. The cab corners are gone. The extended cab doors are gone. Yeah. This is the eight and a half foot plow for the dump truck. Oh yeah. It needs to be painted, but it's solid. And you see like the back, the lenses are cracked. They, I mean, this thing was plowing snow and they were backing in the it's stuff. Almost probably a brand new cutting edge last winter. Yeah. Um, and then this side, actually the entire bed side was replaced. They replaced the entire thing. That's that's why it looks like it was a fire. Yeah, look at this. You can see where they welded it in up front. Oh, really? I didn't even notice. Oh, they riveted it in. Well, that's crazy. And then uh, they probably did a half-assed paint job, so yeah. that's why it's starting to but poke through. I mean, through. you can see. That's what we mean when we talk. Cab corners are gone. Yeah. The bottom of the door is gone. But it starts right up, and it drives, and it works. Yeah. It's just crazy, aside from the rust you could hook a trailer to this and go to work yeah i mean this is one of the trucks that they say the the truck literally falls apart around the engine is what this is this truck is literally 
it's gonna fall the engine will will live for five five lifetimes of what the truck's it's been probably hit a big bank of ice at some point and just <clears throat> But still, 250,000 miles, I mean, it's a lot of miles, most of it. Yeah. But for 20-something years, you know, one. 22, 23 years, it's... Yeah, it's got a brand new alternator. Oh, yeah. Which we'll probably steal from one of our trucks. Uh, they wow. did a new terminal, actually, on this side, the too. The exhaust manifold on this side looks brand new. Or is see. not leaking. Look at how clean it is. It's not it leaking does, anything. Yeah, that doesn't look rusty. This new water one, pump in it. It's got a new elbow down there for the water pump. This motor looks better than the, that dump truck. Yeah, it does. Higher miles. Uh, yeah, in all the coolant reservoirs, there's no fuel. Yeah. Meaning injector cups. Let's see. No, just, I mean, it, it, it's louder. We'll start it up. It's missing, I think, from the muffler back or it has an aftermarket exhaust. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is a good motor, this one. Yeah, it does. Let's see, is it missing the muffler? Oh. Big old hole in the muffler. Got a big hole in the muffler. Does it? Yeah. I mean, these, these seven threes, that's why we run them. We set it over and over and over. You turn the key, once the weight, the start light goes off, you barely turn the key. These things just, it's like, that's what me and Jim have been saying for years. These things just want to run. They want to go to work. I barely touch the key. The thing, it roars right to life. It's ready to go. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's a shame that the whole rest of the truck is rotted because this motor is in really, really, really good shape. Yeah. This would be a perfect, probably, I don't know, we're probably, we're going to list it for sale as a whole unit with the plow, see what happens. If not, maybe we'll pull the motor and transmission and transfer case out and part, part get the rid truck of that, out. and then we'll sell some of the... Somebody will buy the wheel, uh, and then wheels we'll, and... Then we'll scrap the rest of it. Yeah. This motor is in, I mean, this motor would be a perfect candidate for any work truck that we need. The muffler has a hole. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got a big hole. Yeah, big hole. So, uh. I want to keep all these things. Yeah, I know. We just want to keep every single one that keep we all buy. These trucks and just, yeah, just park them here and say that we saved them from going to the junkyard. Uh, on to the next one. So that's three of four. This is four of four. Probably the nicest one. Nah, the, the GMC is close because it's yeah, newer, it's, but yeah. this one's a nice truck. Unfortunately, it has the wrong engine in it. Yeah. You get in there, you're waiting to, for the weight to start light to go on, and it's, uh, it's gas. Yeah. The V8 Triton. Walk around it real quick. Yeah, this so one's this... low miles too, 127,000 miles. This one has a really nice western plow. Yeah, uh, an ultra mount. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Not a, yeah, not a unimount. So, uh, plow's in really good shape. Four wheel drive, low, low miles. Uh, the rust is very minimal, except for that rocker panel right there. Yeah. The doors are in good shape. The cab corners are in good shape. The paint um, looks really good on this yeah, truck. The paint is sharp. Utility box. Uh, this one's in good shape. Yeah. The floor's not shot. I mean, you got a little bit. But I mean, this is. I want to put this bed on that truck. Yeah. So that's what I want that truck to have. We can put all of our tools for pavers and whatnot. This one's in good shape. Yeah. This one is not in good shape. Yeah, this that one, one's rotten out. This door needs a new floor and also probably. Some yeah, this one the needs bottom a bottom starting to rot out. I mean, you got a good shelf in here still. I mean, look at the tires. Yeah, the tires are good. The tires are really good. The frame is spotless. 
the cross members on the bed are in really really good shape yeah it actually looks like somebody was working on the bed 22 23 years old now you got is a little hole here i think yeah. that's a that's a win uh yeah, don't, sh don't show them this sorry mess yeah this is a another 7.3 that will start up as it sits here with no rear end in it yeah it runs it's being parted out yeah uh yeah here's the plow this plow is in really nice shape um I don't know. Yeah, this looking, one's nice. We're looking for a plow to put on the gold truck that needs a new rim, but uh, maybe get back into plowing in the winter, depending if it ever snows again. This is the exact one I want <laughs> that we had before on this truck. Uh, but it's this looks like a nine footer, right? I don't know. This it's a nice big. looking plow. Oh. Um, I don't know, but this looks like a nine footer, which is probably a little bit too much for the front end on that one. See. Yeah, that one's stuck. Of course, locked. Good shape. I mean, this one's in good shape, right? Yeah. Well, this one's solid. Workable. Utility body, four wheel drive. All you get for 23 years is a little spot. <laughs> good tires. Oh, yeah, once again, it looks like they did some work under here. Yeah, they did. But it looks good. They, whoever did it did a good job. And this has a new fuel tank, also, I think. I mean, let's see the. That rocker's okay. Yeah, this rocker's alright. This door's in. Eh, that's not bad for the age. Yeah. Cab corner's solid. But, okay, the seat's beat up. Yeah. You get in here. Alright, let's start the diesel up and it's a Triton. Let's check the motor out first. This has a. It's got a plow controllers in there, right? Yeah, this they one, all do, I think. We're gonna hook the plows up in the next couple of days and just make sure they all work. But uh, it's a good-looking truck. Yeah, it is. That's why I said it's the nicest one because I think it hasn't been inspected in a while. Yeah, I think it's the nicest-looking truck from afar. I just got the wrong motor in. Yeah. Triton five four, but if it lasted twenty-something years, yeah. You know, these are known for exhaust leaks. Yeah. And the spark plugs breaking off. This one needs a radiator, I think. It's leaking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The radiator's got a leak. But, uh, it is what it is. It starts up, but you drove it home today. Yeah. I need some rotors, but it drove. It shifted fine. Let's start it up, right? Yeah, it shifted really good, actually. It's quiet. You yeah, it was hear, quiet. You want to hear the rumble of the diesel, but... Yeah, it runs good. I mean, it drove, it got me home. Obviously, yeah, these were all work trucks. We bought them from somebody who used them for work. So oh. yeah, they're not showroom quality, but they're they're good trucks. Let's just show them real They have quick. life left in them. This auction popped up yesterday. I think lunchtime, I was checking my phone when we were working and uh, holy crap, this is only 35 minutes away. Let's check it out. 400 items and we could have bought everything there if we had enough time to bid. But uh, of course it was bidding mania. People were just going nuts buying everything oh you're gonna show them what else we got we lost out on a tandem axle truck we don't have our cdl yet but what we could have had a friend driving home 5500 bucks for a, a tandem axle uh a tandem dump truck and it had a i think it was a 22 ton deck over trailer that went with it for another two grand and then a a big giant Alice chalmers snow pusher yeah. a, front a wheel loader that went for four grand yeah not even it was like what's the math Fifth. it was like 10 to 12 grand for the whole setup and it was split up we didn't see it all at once because there was 400 items but uh this is also what we got we got the tractor trailer wheels we got the bed cap and we got these these were set up in bundles as you see here they're taped and they got their item numbers numbers on them but literally as you see here i think we won this stack for 50 cents <laughs> Um, this stack, I don't know what it is about these square rakes, but we really, really like these for when we're raking out stone for pavers, uh, river rock. We really like these rakes. I think this was like a dollar twenty-five for this bundle. Yeah. Um, and then this hey, one might have been the most expensive one. Uh, this one was a little bit out of our price range, but this one has two shovels. <laughs> yeah. This was five bucks. Yeah. So we have no use for the asphalt rake, so yeah. we'll probably won't use them. But, but uh, the shovels, I mean, can't beat that. 
six dollars for everything you see here yeah and we're figuring if we're going down there for at least one truck we might as well try and scoop up some of the small stuff uh what else they have a few snow blowers snow blowers they had water pumps they had generators yeah a oh, motors, jumping jack jumping jacks for pavers we just missed out on that stuff because we were watching the bids on the trucks yeah uh, i think the people were on there for the smaller stuff and somehow we got lucky with these things yeah if you guys want to guess away in the comments of what we paid for these trucks uh go go for it uh they will be for sale in the next few weeks once we go over them and make sure that everything is safe and sound we know that the two drove home and the other two run fine but we're just going to check them out and whatnot and uh, kind of just know what the deal is with yeah them. we're busy with work as well so uh i don't know it was cool we haven't yeah. i haven't done an auction since before covid then they slowed down for a year and then this one popped up right around the corner because they're usually three hours away and of course we can't bring four trucks home from three hours away but we lucked out so uh i don't know let us know what you guys thought we uh we skipped work today on friday to go buy all these trucks and hopefully make a little bit more money than we would have made today landscaping so we'll see what happens yeah. any other comments what do you think yeah i think that's it let us know what you guys think about did do you guys do auctions did we did we make good purchases are these trucks pieces of junk are they good finds are they, they don't uh, know because we didn't tell them the price. yeah we didn't tell yeah, we're not going to tell you the price because we are going to be selling them and i mean it's kind of a flip a flipping game I we mean, don't want you to say for example we didn't we're not we didn't buy these for a thousand bucks each like a yeah, steal yeah. like that much we paid more than that but yeah they're they're worth flipping so they're worth more than we paid for them yeah. we'll just put it that yeah. way it's not going to make us rich rich it'll make us a couple bucks give us something to do on the weekends but uh it's a good find that's all I have to say. Yeah, that's all I got to say yeah. too. All right. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.